my name's John Chaplin. I'm with Siemens Education Services. And uh, what I'd like to uh, focus on in this video is how to draw some curves uh, when you're interning and you're planning on doing a teach mode operation. And you want to um, machine specific, very specific curves. So my recommendation would be to create those curves in Sketcher. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, NX, uh, an NX9, and I'm going to choose Insert Sketch and Task Environment. And I'm just going to choose OK to sketch on the XY plane. And uh, right on top of my lathe cross section here, uh, where I have the part boundary and the blank boundary, I'm going to draw using my profile tool. I might decide, well, the first tool, we're going to go with an OD tool, and we're going to come in something like uh, this. And um, that'll be my first uh, my first cut. Now, the beauty of using Sketcher is I can go in here and I can I might decide, well, I want to make uh, uh, this edge and that line. I might want to make them parallel. And I might want to pull this line out a little bit more this down a little bit more and I can go ahead and dimension I'll say give me a rapid dimension from there to there and uh, we might decide to make that distance something like 0.125 an eighth of an inch and then I might put another uh, rapid dimension from there to there and we might decide to make that dimension something like uh, 0.1 and so now I have the uh, perfect geometry that I'd like to cut uh, for my first tool and uh, then I'd go ahead and I might draw my second set of curves that I want my my ID tool to follow. I'll say again using the profile tool that I want to uh, I want my ID tool to go from oh about here to here and then out to about uh, here. And uh, once again uh, I'm, I'm in Sketcher so I can highlight that edge uh, and that line and I can say make them parallel and throw a couple of dimensions on to uh, get my tool at the correct distance that I desire. We'll make that um, we'll make that point one, and I'll say give me a dimension from there to there, and we'll make that about uh, point one, and um, that will uh, take care of uh, the geometry that I want for my roughing cuts. Uh, in the next video, uh, we'll actually take the roughing cuts using a teach mode operation.